people that work in the European institutions have been told not to go into work tomorrow. It's been uh, said by the foreign minister that there will be three days of mourning and the airports will be open tomorrow. So basically the city is on high alert, level four, and the people are in lockdown mode again, like we've been many times in the past four months. Now, since the attacks on Paris and, and since the raids initially um, in, in Belgium, Tara, you were on a level three. Have the Belgian people become sort of inured to this sort of attack? I mean, the, this is a tr these are tragic events, of course, but, uh, you know, life does seem to go on more quickly than might, one might expect. Right. Well, there was definitely a shock after there was a lockdown in the city in November, early December, and then again on the uh, night of New Year's Eve. But I think that most people seem to let their guard down and get back to work, get back to life. We all felt a lot of relief when Salah Abdeslam was, was captured, and we thought that maybe this was the beginning of a more peaceful time in Brussels. But then a few days later, there were attacks on our soil, which hasn't been in years, not since there was a shooting outside of the Jewish Museum downtown, which is actually across the street from where I live. So. I am surrounded by this situation, and our offices are up the street. I want to take you back to when you were at the airport, Tara, because you, you had the chance to witness the scene yourself firsthand. You actually took some photos, which we'd like to show. Can you just sort of walk us through what it was like to see the aftermath of the explosions? Well, there were just lines of people wheeling their luggage coming out of the building, the ones that were in good enough shape to walk, but a lot of them had experienced the explosion. One man I spoke to worked, worked at Swiss Port as a check-in attendant, and this was very close to the American Airlines check-in, uh, I'm sorry, ticket area. And he said that he heard a loud explosion. He ducked. He hid underneath the uh, turnstile for the luggage. His, his colleagues were screaming, run, run, run. When he came out, his clothes were, were tattered. Uh, another man I spoke to said he saw it from the uh, grill that he works at within the airport. He saw blood everywhere. He called it an apocalypse, and everyone was very visibly shattered. I saw people crying, fearful that their colleagues that work at the airport were not well since they had not been, they had not left with a large group of people evacuating. And then hours later, uh, funeral cars were there taking the uh, deceased away. So it was a very grim scene.